plane crash has left dozens dead. You know, has raised the terror level to or Experts believe a kidnapper may be on the loose in your town. You're not alone, Billy. Ah! That is, you're not the only one spooked by these headlines. Ha <laughs> ha, see you're trembling. Oh, it's just you, Mr. Neuron. I was just watching these news reports on bird flu and terrorists. Well, those things certainly aren't good and American like this tasty hamburger. Look out! It could kill you! What is it? E. coli? Mad cow disease? Much worse! The cholesterol in this delicious sandwich could kill you with heart disease! Wow! Oh. It's true, and that's my point! You see, Billy, you're no different from millions of other good people in this country. You can't tell the difference between real and perceived <gasps> dangers. Let's try a thought experiment, shall we? Jump it, you who the fuck? Now, Billy, skydiving is relatively safe, and yet you have this irrational fear of it. Mr. Neuron, help! This will only take a minute. Now, it's <laughs> Again, relax, Billy. Statistically, the risk of a shark attack is insignificant. I think that's a gross misjudgment of the situation! I don't. So, Billy, do you understand what I'm trying to say? I sure do. You're saying that the things we should worry about scare us less than ridiculous exotic scenarios. Close? Actually, I'm a lobbyist for lesser-known dangers that are just as unlikely to harm you. Dangers like... Overboiled eggs! <coughs> French Canadian separatists! <laughs> and the dreaded reverse osmosis! Oh, I see. You're right, Mr. Neuron. From now on, I won't let the media exploit my irrational fears and worry less about killer bees and more about spelling bees. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Good one, Billy! <laughs> yeah. Take two. Holy mackerel! What?